Hey, this is Ryan from Web Eminence. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use negative keywords in your Google Ads account, both efficiently and effectively. So this is a good tip for anyone working in Google Ads. It's gonna save you hours over the long term of adding negative keywords in, and it's gonna allow you to get to better results faster in your Google Ads campaigns. So this video comes from observing real accounts and seeing the mistakes that advertisers are making. And it's really an easy mistake to make because Google nudges advertisers in the direction of being more conservative with negative keywords because they don't wanna to block too many potential ads from showing. So I'm gonna show you exactly how they do this so you can avoid this and also use negative keywords to your advantage. So I think we all know how negative keywords work in general, but it's important to understand how negative keyword matching works because it's not the same as keyword matching in terms of just regular keywords, you know, broad exact phrase. Those terms do exist with negative keywords, but it works a little bit more conservatively. So I'm gonna show you a couple examples in the Google Ads help doc for negative keywords, a broad match example. So if you were to just put in the word running shoes as a negative keyword in a campaign, you would be blocked from showing for the search running shoes, obviously, because that's an exact match. You would also be blocked from showing for shoes running because that's just changing the order of the words that are in your negative keyword. You would actually also be blocked from showing for blue running shoes because because that includes your phrase running shoes, but you would still show for something like running shoe, which is a close variant and just is taking an S off the end of it. You'd still show for that, still show for something that like blue tennis shoes, which is just a, a related term. If we go down to using a phrase match for negative keywords, this would be putting quotation marks around running shoes and making it a phrase. In this case, you'd still be blocked from running shoes search here. You'd be blocked from showing for blue running shoes because it includes the phrase. You would still show for shoes running because word order would not matter in this case and you would still be eligible to show because this does not match your phrase exactly. And then same with the top one, blue tennis shoes, you would still show. Then if we jump down to exact match, this is very literal. You would only be blocked from showing from that exact search. You would still show for different orders of words and different variants and related terms. So exact is exactly what it sounds like. It's exact match when it comes to negative keywords. So I'm gonna jump over to a search term list from a real account and show you how this works in practice and show you some of the problems that I see. And the way this generally comes up is people are searching through their search term list as they should and looking for potential words, searches that they don't wanna show for. So let's say I'm a towing company, kind of like this example account, and I don't do motorcycle towing, so I check that one. Let's say I don't do flatbed towing either. I don't have a flatbed truck, so I'm gonna check that one and then click add as negative. You would first choose whether you wanna block this within the ad group or the campaign or use a list. Probably in most cases wanna block it on the campaign, but again, they're kind of pushing you towards a smaller block or a more specific block within an ad group. So make sure to put this into campaign in most cases. They're also going to default to blocking the exact match. That means you're only gonna block someone who searches this phrase exactly. And same with flatbed, but for most people in this case, if you're not towing motorcycles, for example, you're probably gonna be fine just putting in motorcycle as the word to be blocked. That way, whenever someone includes motorcycle in the search, you're gonna block that term. Same with flatbed. If, so, if you don't have a flatbed truck, and you, want, you don't wanna show for those searches, just put in the word flatbed. And any variation of search that someone uses with that term in it, you're gonna block that. So you go ahead and click save. It's gonna add those words as broad match, single word. And again, you're gonna block any term that comes in in the future. So this is way more efficient than just blocking a lot of exact terms. So for example, I'll show you this negative keyword list in this account that has thousands of words, 1400 that have been added over years. So this client took the time to add these when he really didn't have to. If he would have added them in this more efficient manner, it would have cut down the time that he spent adding them, but also he would have gotten to a more efficient campaign much faster than waiting for all these terms to come in. Like for example, here's AAA was blocked. Initially it was blocked using a bunch of exact match keywords like 
AAA tire change, AAA tire service. So you could block each of these, but why not just block AAA if you never wanna show for that? Same thing with like a competitor name, like Ace. Like here's a bunch of different variations of how people are searching for Ace Towing, which is a competitor, rather than taking three or four months to figure all these out and block each variation as an exact match, would have been much better off just putting in the word Ace then it would have blocked all these variations from that point on. Again, it would create a much more effective campaign faster with just one word being added. So I did want to point out that sometimes exact match does make sense. Sometimes phrase match makes sense. Like for example, let's look at the search term list again and notice that towing, even though I'm not targeting the word, the search towing as a keyword, it is showing up as a close variant, which makes sense. But maybe over a period of six to 12 months, I find that towing is not really converting really well as a single word search. So I could select that, add it as a negative keyword, and maybe I would just leave it as an exact match rather than, because I obviously don't want to exclude the word towing in all, whenever it's included in a search, that would be silly. But um, I might want to exclude the search towing just single word search exactly like that because it's too broad. It doesn't have a lot of context in the search. And more importantly, it may have proven to have to be low converting and cost me a lot of money. So there are times like that where I will use exact match for blocking a single word search, for example. And there are other times to use both exact and phrase match with negative keywords. But in general, the method that I showed you is gonna allow you to spend less time adding those negative keywords and get to better performing campaigns much faster. So make Make sure to follow these tips anytime you're adding negative keywords to your Google Ads account. If you found this video helpful, I'll go ahead and link to another Google Ads video and we'll see you on that one.